Hello and welcome to this broadcast of Running on Love with God. My name is Lori Michelle and in April of 2009 I was awakened to the voice of our Creator, God Himself, and He said, go get pen and paper and start writing this down. And I listened. And here I am seven and a half years later, broadcasting on Global Blog Talk Radio, sharing His wisdom and working very hard to wake you up and help you see what is right and what is wrong about our world. You see, I woke up seven and a half years ago to a world that I didn't recognize anymore. It was literally flipped on its head. Really crazy. I got caught up in what was called the mental health system, but what I recognized it to be was a dysfunctional mental illness system. You see, this program is about mental health, the business of mental health. And what I saw firsthand knocked me out, literally. It took me a few years to pull away and escape from a cycle of violence and drugs and misdiagnosis that was completely false and steeped in greed and avarice and worst of all, no God. No God, no one's mentioning God. The first step in the 12 step program is recognizing that there's a higher power. But the minute you get caught up in a system where you hear God and you say you hear God, God forbid. So I got caught up in a whole cycle of violence. Yes, I call it violence. It nearly took my very life away. I pulled away. I left everything I ever knew. I left my marriage, my marital home, all of my belongings to live my life on purpose on, and to live my life the way I know I'm supposed to live it, one with God himself. God is first, he is everything, and after God, everything is extra. Air is extra. So this program is about mental health, part one, because it's a very important issue. It's at the core of everything that's wrong in our world as we see it. The world of mental health, or what is mental illness, is misdiagnosed at hello. <laughs> what do I mean by that? In the world of the mental health business, and it is a business, make no mistake, it is steeped in greed and it is quite evil. At the core of it is misinformation right at the diagnosis. You see, if someone wakes up and is hearing voices, God, spirit, they're immediately told that they are incurably ill with bipolar, um, schizophrenia, some kind of biological genetic disorder. There's no cure. And if you don't take their drugs, you're doomed. It's only going to get worse, spiral out of control, and you'll be incurably insane. People, it's a lie. It's a complete lie. It's fiction. I am here seven and a half years later. I never took their drugs unless they forced it on me and shot me up with them. I knew it was God. I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew that it was flipped on its head, that the people who were saying that I can't hear God, that I'm not hearing what I'm hearing, were the ones who needed the most help. The story is very deep. I'm writing a book about it. I'm writing a very long nonfiction book. 
Hashem has told me the book that I'm writing, that I plan to release, God willing, I'll finish the manuscript and release it next year. He says, is part two of the Torah. That's what he says. It's the down-to-earth, real-life, everyday life of what is wrong in this world. It is my version of how I see the world and how I can see evil everywhere. You see, the true definition of mental illness is your inability to see God and the antithesis of God. You are spirit. You are not your body. Please wake up. You are a spiritual being manifesting in this world in a vessel, a physical body that Hashem has given to you as a gift to emanate here and have a physical experience. When you are depressed, when you are anxious, when you are hearing voices, there are real voices that can be heard that not everybody can hear. It doesn't mean you're biologically or genetically crazy, insane. Your inability to balance between the physical and the spiritual, this imbalance is what is wrong. To take pills and a cocktail and go to psychiatrists who want to drug this out of you and find the right way to control your brain chemistry is feeding into another kind of problem. Make no mistake, I'm not a medical doctor, and these drugs, if you're on them, are very dangerous. If you're listening to this, and you're one of the people who are caught up in this cycle of mental health, mental illness, mental health system, where you're on medications, don't go off of them like cold turkey. Very dangerous, these drugs, play around with your brain chemistry. What I'm trying to wake you up to is the fact that that isn't truly the answer or the source of your wellness. You're not going to find wellness in a pill bottle. Children of God, He's real. He speaks to us. If you wake up one day and you hear voices that are not in the room, research it. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to these voices. They can be very evil and negative voices. Or they can be God speaking to you. It doesn't mean you have a death sentence and a life sentence of being mentally ill. It is your soul waking up. Hashem has told me in this day and age right now the end times, the end days. He's loosening the separation between the physical world, the physical people in body, and the non-physical. People have left and died. I hear them. I can't hear you very well. My physical ears are deaf now. I have a cochlear implant to help me function. But I hear them. When I take my implant off, wow, it's amazing. And he says, more and more of the people of the world are beginning to hear them because he's loosening the separation in preparation for the redemption and the repair of our entire world. Crazy? It's the truth. When this all happened and my life was careening out of control and I couldn't get out of getting caught up in my former husband saying, she's crazy doctor, drug her, do something. That's not my wife. She's not a Hasidic Jew. <laughs> he didn't understand. 
he didn't understand what was going on with me. He, I suppose he did his best. I suppose you're doing your best. You don't understand what you don't know. Research, learn. What looks crazy to you might be the most sane part of our whole world. If you're a secular American, a Christian, a secular Jew, and you see Hasidic Jews walking around with these big black coats and long beards and long sideburns, and you look at them and say, look at that crazy person, look how they're dressed. They're crazy. They are some of the wisest, smartest, most intelligent, all-knowing people in all our world. What you don't know is that when Moses went up that mountain, he came down with more than two tablets with ten commandments. People, you need to start waking up and learning. We're not this. This is this is a physical body. Okay, I'm here. I'm in a body. But it's an illusion. What's an illusion? It's not all that there is. There is way more to this world than what you can see and touch. And if you're not in touch with your spirit, if you're not in touch with the knowledge and the truth that you are a child of God, a non-physical creator who brought you here and put you in a body so that you can bring godliness through you and to our earth, you're missing the whole point. You're missing the beauty of life itself. He's real, people. Don't deny it. What you're doing is building a business and a livelihood for an, an industry called mental illness. The pharmaceutical companies have a vested interest in you believing that you have a lifelong illness, a biological disorder, it's in your genes. You inherited it. You come from a long line of mentally ill people. <laughs> well, maybe there's some truth to that because you come from humans. And guess what? Humans get happy. Humans get depressed. Humans get angry. We have emotions and they run the gamut. And sometimes we can go through a whole litany of emotions in just an hour. It doesn't mean you're crazy. It means you're a human being. And you need to learn how to manage your emotions and manage your body and take care of your body and take care of your soul. And remember, you're a child of God. Whether you want to admit it or know it or not, I watched Bill Maher on YouTube the other day. He's adorable and funny, and he makes me laugh. And I don't believe he believes in God. I know he doesn't believe in religion. I'm with you, Bill. I don't have a religion. I'm Jewish. I believe in God. And I follow the Jewish way of life and Torah. But I don't like religion. It's a subject for another blog talk radio show. But he said something about evolution being the truth. And maybe he comes from gorillas, but I don't. I know where I come from. I come from Hashem God. And he's wow, and he's amazing, and he talks to me. And this show, this program about mental illness and the business of mental illness is a wake-up call to you. That if you're buying into these diagnosis codes and you're running to the psychiatrist like a good mental patient and taking your medications and accepting your lifelong illness, you're harming yourself and you're harming your soul. Don't come off those medicines like that. If you desire to find a new way of life, that's what I'm trying to wake you up to. There is another way the right way. God is the way. Hashem is the way. And you can do this. 
You can come off of those medicines with the help of the right medical people. God forbid you start trying to play around with your own medicines. You can send yourself into a tizzy and spiral out of control and God forbid hurt yourself. This program isn't about that. It's about the wake up call that this medical industry of mental illness is a failure. It's a train out of control, off the tracks, and it's careening out of control. And most people don't have the guts and the will to say, get me off this train. This is wrong. I don't want my children to be drugged. I don't want to be drugged. I know there's a better way. I know God is real. I know this is not a life sentence. This is the wake up call, people. The pharmaceutical executives want more people diagnosed on their drugs. They're addicting. They're hard to get off. They're very expensive. And they're paving the roads in gold and building their little mansions. And they're having a very good life on the industry of mental illness. The psychiatrist that you're going to, $400 an hour, I don't even know what they charge, ridiculous amounts of money to write you a cocktail. Oh, you're a little too up, you're a little too down, can't sleep. Here you go. Here's a cocktail for you. Wake up, people. It's not the answer. You're not going to find God in a pill bottle. He's the answer. He's number one. Don't forget where you come from. He's number mm -hmm. one. Everything else. Air. The breath of air. Extra. Please wake up. Please keep listening. You can get right to this YouTube station by going to learningforlove.org. And I'm on Blog Talk Radio, running on love with God. I'm not going to stop talking. I'm telling the truth, and I am told the truth will set us all free. I've watched too many people have their lives destroyed by these drugs and diagnosis. Their whole lives are destroyed. I've watched women who've not ever married, not having children, because they think they're bipolar, they're psychotic, they'll never be well. They were born this way. They'll always be this way. God is real, people. Please wake up. Please. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for all of you. This world needs him. He is real. I'm telling the truth. I hope you feel my sincerity, and I hope you will heed the call and wake up. More about this subject on another broadcast. For now, stop paving their roads in gold. Start reaching for God and talk to your doctor if you're addicted to one of these drugs and tell them you want to find another way. Help me find another way. Work with your clergy. Reach for God. He's the real deal.